In this video, we explore inclusivity in education across EU member states. Each country has its own approach and regulations, resulting in diverse support systems. For students with disabilities, various services are provided, such as note takers, interpreters, braille materials, and special desk arrangements. Unfortunately, pupils with disabilities face barriers that contribute to a higher rate of early school leaving compared to those without disabilities. EU data indicates that 20.3% of individuals with disabilities are early school leavers, while only 10.8% without disabilities are. Additionally, only 30.9% of learners with disabilities pursue tertiary education. Inclusive education levels differ across EU member states. The identification of pupils with disabilities and special education needs varies as well, making data comparison challenging. However, the report by the European Disability Forum highlights some general trends in Europe. All countries have students with disabilities officially enrolled in schools, but never attending classes. Several countries show an increase in the rates of pupils with an official diagnosis of special education needs. All countries demonstrate a slight decrease in the proportion of learners with disabilities in segregated educational settings. The European Commission's Disability Support Group has identified several inequalities in the measures taken by European schools for learners with disabilities. Parents' testimonials highlight the following barriers during distance learning. Inadequate adaptation of online platforms for students with disabilities. Lack of clarity in implementing distance learning, including communication, written material, and feedback. Unavailability of evaluations for submitted work. Limitations in providing support for students with special educational needs. Lack of flexibility in submission deadlines. Article 24 of the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities emphasizes the fundamental right to education, including inclusive education. To this end, the EU should recognize and protect this right as part of its core values, principles, and universal human rights.